have five minutes, I want to say this. How interesting would it be to put both of you in a cold tub bath questioning each other <laughs> for 10 minutes? To see your ass. See, see look, it's... <laughs> <laughs> Good job. Yeah. You're pressing your vibe. Yo, what up guys, it's Gary Vee and it's time for the Daily Bread. Give us our daily bread. I want the whole basket. Cause I'ma hustle till I get it or I'm in a casket. Passionate for providing value in every way. Not cashing in for providing value every day. Paying it forward, right thing, I'll do it till I'm dead. I hope you're hungry cause it's time for the Daily Bread. takes the average person a decade, we're trying to condense down to be able to do it in two to three years. What takes the average person two to three years, we're trying to condense it down to be able to do it in six to 12 months. What takes the average person six to 12 months, we're trying to knock out in 30 to 60 days by putting in just crazy work and by being able to work fast. And so this whole concept of like fast is the new big in social media is, is 100% the key to success <clears throat> because the quality we've got the quality like the quality is not an issue like all of us are more than capable of any quality that we need in this social media type environment now it just becomes quantity um, and being able to put it not just quantity on one particular platform quantity in that we can create that one piece and delineate it out amongst all the other platforms, the ones that we're not spending any time on. Like I don't do anything on LinkedIn and that's a problem. Um, I don't do anything on like Anchor, that's a problem. So like being able to take all this stuff and get it like out on everything. Oh. And so that's, that's the main focus I think for the next 30 days is how we can develop these systems to be able to freaking work insanely fast because the quality is, the quality is more than competent it's incredible let me give you a word um, picture yeah so that you can see what we're talking about this is this is the benefit of working in this type of environment too if you if you equate it to if you equate it if i could equate it to the matrix it's almost like you when you're walking into a department mm -hmm. tyler's literally only using maybe about one one hundredth of his in thought process while he's given the briefing sitting down with somebody who's doing the whole process mm -hmm. So it's literally like in the matrix when Neo finally figures it out and and you see him flex and the and the environment's like and then Mr. Smith, yeah. And he's fighting him and he turns like this. He turns and he's like and he's just he's fighting him like with one arm, right? Like he's just blocking everything and that guy's getting frustrated as hell. And and he's not even thinking about it. And see the 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 key to working in an environment like that is that's where you have to get to. That's why it takes, that's what, that's how you condense is you do so much with so little that the little then becomes great and you can do unbelievable things and not even think about it. Does that make sense? Yeah. And so, and so kind of translating that into the creative side, it's the ability to like, obviously we're all extremely creative, but this idea of these templates, these like literally to-do lists of every day, you know that you got to do this, 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 and this. And then like literally as soon as you hit the door, it's just like, boom, let's knock out this, this, this. All right, cool. It's, it's midday. We got boom, 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 all these things and creating whatever we need to create now to make it to where you can just rail through those uh, with the templates and with these different things where like the creative aspect is like how creative and aesthetically all this stuff that we can do within this format. So like, okay, I need a one minute video for Instagram. Perfect like with the templates that you're creating on the collage type stuff. Like I know exactly what that video is going to be framed. Like I know exactly the format of that video. Okay, boom, let me go through and let's knock out the next 30 days worth or whatever. And then to be able to say, okay, now we need to take that. We need to put it into rev.com to get all the, um, uh, the copy, like the verbiage from that so that we can make some blog posts from it. Okay, we know that a blog post needs to be three paragraphs, four paragraphs, whatever, it's got a header of this, and then boom, be able to take that and be able to easily go, okay, like create systems for all these things. It's no out of that blog, I've got 45 different pictures yeah. that I can take one-liners out and throw them on. You know what I'm saying? And put them whatever. And then the weekly newsletter, like this weekly newsletter is more important than we realize 
And what I'm thinking is to make it even more, again, efficient, is we just make it a no hook media uh, weekly update to where it's got my stuff, Joseph's stuff, and Save that way, wolves, yeah, that way it's camera. going, that way my stuff's going to his people, his stuff's going to my people, and it like just mingles those together to where it's not two separate newsletters that are having to happen, but it's like, hey, this, here's the highlights from this week with No Hook Media. You know, this particular vlog episode that was really the good. Only, this, the only thing, and I hadn't talked to you about this yet, but the only thing we leave out of No Hook in that situation. Yeah. These batteries, I have two of them, and in two hours I had to use two of them. And in the first time I was here, I had full battery. The battery was already out nearly by the end of our convert or your guys' meeting. Um, and it looks more cinematic than a Canon. It looks too commercial. Now I want to portray you, Joe, and anyone else something beautiful to see. Because the percentage of somebody watching something great and beautiful, because that's, that's what the world is going to on YouTube. Everyone's trying to be a filmmaker. Not everyone's trying to be an entrepreneur, but if you're an entrepreneur with filmmaking videos. So th 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 this, this was my thing. Everyone who has a camera, I'm at their head. I'm going to be better than you. And not I'm going to be better than you, I'm going to come out on top. Like that, that's who I am. Anybody with a camera. Anybody with a camera. And it's just like, not, not in a bad way, but you know, it's, it's, just a na it's, just a na it's just a natural thing, yeah. For the sake of time, I'll tell you, you sold me, so you're good. Oh, okay. Like, this is a three year, five year play here. And so we get three to five years of just helping people provide value and do these things on top of what they're already doing and teaching them how to, like, hey, if you're really serious about doing this, then, like, you're going to have to really step up your game in your full time job, like in your business or whatever that may be. Like, and we'll help you, you know, we can, see, we can become consultants with that. Like, hey, if you really want to go <coughs> full no hook. You're going to want to bring in Joseph as a consultant to take a look at your business to figure out how we can make your business more money to fund all this. I, so that it doesn't cost you any money to have us on board. I, while you were saying that, I realized the potential of literally having that as that verb. It was like, this guy, like, that that would be the thing. The same way that I don't call them napkins. I call them, like, hand me some Kleenexes. Kleenex, yeah, I yeah. can't even think of anything other than that, right? Having it be like, yo, you went full no hook. like. Yeah. Like that's an actual term that's used. Maybe even a watermark, like on what, whatever comes out with that person, some type of no hook like thing, so that like they a, know. Uh, like almost like a Facebook or Instagram verification. Like yeah. this person is no hook. <laughs> like this certifies the fact that this person will not use yeah. their phone. Yeah, yeah exactly. <laughs> Dude, wow, in this like in this like marketing red, world, if it was like a red check with no hook. Next yeah. To them, like we're like all the people that like come on board with us. In the smallest degree, like if they just like want to sign up for our information that we put out once a month to be no hook certified or whatever, yeah. to like prove to people like, hey, if you like this dude, you follow this dude, you you check out their stuff, like you will never have to worry about getting some spammy email from them trying to sell you their freaking ebook because they're no hook. That, that can there's a there's a <laughs> yeah, that's, that's pretty that can do, literally be abuse button. Yeah, yeah, like, yeah. no, but like honestly, like, like let us know. Yeah, like you need to let us know if you like if these people on this list ever try to come at you with a hook and like give you some like crazy offer to buy something. Like you need to let us know because that is specifically what we're training them not to do. And, and that that itself would be the thing that they buy. You go, you have to. At the end of it, they come back to us, and there's no like ROI type conversations. But, it, but the thing is, like, it's. The right, like it's like, that's the funny thing is like, it's the right thing to do. Like it's, so it's how you change social media and make it more transparent where you know people that yeah. aren't going to try to freaking finagle you into some course or something. And so it's going to get us, we're, we have to, be, you have to be very delicate in how you talk about it. Cause like I can, I can tell even like the small amount that I talked about with Colby K, like he's built his career off of selling stuff online. And we have to like have that conversation of like, there is tremendous value. There's nothing wrong with selling stuff right. at all. Like if you have value to provide, that's real. What we don't want is the people that, you know, have never sold anything in their life other than selling someone on how to sell, or never sold anything on, in their life other than selling someone on how to build a business that they've never like. So we have to like, I mean, we can we can frame that because what we don't, what you can't do is all of a sudden be every, yeah, every single one every single person that's selling like. I mean, the Grant Cardone is the, I mean, you don't want to go <laughs> anyway, but 
we praise those people for the fact that like they are providing real value real bad. at scale, like crazy, crazy, crazy stuff. Yeah. Um, yeah, that, like that. That would be a whole thing, like. Money, money, profits from like getting people connected to the uh, cinematographers, profits from cinematographers buying in to even be able to be part of it, profits from the certification process, and that could be a whole course on like, uh, so that little equation I sent you of like showing them, yeah, consulting. Let let one of our Nova consultants come in, evaluate your business, and find areas that we can improve your profitability for you to be able to pay. For all this stuff that you're trying to do on top of it. Because how many people are I like think wasting. that's the best one. Yeah. I mean, how many people are wasting like so much so many resources and time and energy because they're just not they're not approaching it the right way. Maybe we just don't know just take a percentage of the time. saved. That's how they pay for it. Like like the best businesses in the world are the ones where people don't feel the pain. If we came in and consulted, even if it was for free on a big proposal. Like someone's going to pay 10, 15 grand a month for our services. We came in and found a way for them to save five, seven grand a month on their business or generate an extra five to seven grand on their business because we realized that all their salespeople are doing this and that. Mm-hmm. So that's long term. 